Hey, hey friends, it's Tina back here live in the Piedmont, Virginia. Guess where I'm at? Yep, that's right, I'm back in my kitchen. I am cooking dinner. It is a little late tonight. I had to run some errands um, after my husband got off work, so we went and took care of that. I wasn't gonna cook, but I ended up, I'm like, I'm doing it. A um, Couple videos ago, we did um, some marinade chicken. I pulled one of those out early this morning. So that was really easy. That is cooking right now. And I'm getting ready to start one of our sides. And it's gonna be some broccoli. How is it gonna come out? I'm not sure. But I've been watching on uh, Instagram, this recipe was going around and I thought, perfect. I just bought broccoli up at one of the farm stands um, up in Pennsylvania. And so I am gonna try this recipe. I hope it's gonna come out okay. If not, I'll keep doing it until I can figure it out. I don't, I think it'll be okay. So what you're going to start with first is some broccoli, which I already have washed and cleaned from the other day. Actually, that was yesterday. Pretty big florets. So I'm going to put some water in that and I'm going to steam it. And the recipe says that I should use some salt in there. I've never um, cooked my broccoli in salt, but I'm going to steam it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Not very much, just a little sprinkle. And we're gonna get this on the stove and we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna steam it up, it's all in there. But you're not, here's the thing, the recipe says you're gonna steam it, but not where it's like super mushy, okay? So that's a key. So I really have got to watch how long I steam this for. I'm thinking maybe, maybe two minutes is the most because it will go into the oven shortly, which I already have my oven preheated to 220 degrees. So that's what I am doing. I will be back and show you the next steps. Oh, wait, before I go, I already have my cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. And um, that's what the broccoli is gonna go on. And you're gonna need some olive oil or avocado oil and some Parmesan cheese. They call for paprika, sweet paprika, but I don't think I'm gonna do paprika on this. I don't, I don't, Parmesan cheese is enough. I'm a cheese person, so is my family. So anyhow, I wanted to uh, jump on here really quick and let's get this going. I will be back when my broccoli is ready so I can show you the next steps. Don't go too far. Okay, I think the broccoli is done. I probably should have cooked it and steamed it just a little bit more to get a little softer, but let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna move this down so you can see. Oops, sorry about that. So there's the broccoli. We have just a couple of florets here. There's only a few of us eating, so everybody can have at least two pieces of each. And what I am doing is I'm taking my glass and I'm smashing the broccoli down like this. So these ones are gonna take a little bit longer because these are a little, these are a little bigger. And like I said, I think I should have cooked these just a little bit longer, but I'm smashing them down as much as I can here. You're supposed to do it with a glass, which it's working. So we're gonna smash those down. That looks good. Then we're gonna take our olive oil or avocado oil and we're gonna brush we're gonna brush them with some olive oil, each one. All right, now that each of them have been brushed, we are gonna come in with our Parmesan cheese and we are gonna sprinkle Parmesan cheese on each of the broccoli florets. When I am done doing this, we will go ahead and we will bake them in the oven until crispy, and then you will serve. And I, like I said, I only have the oven on 220, so I will check them. There was not really time. I'll give it a, start with maybe five minutes and see. And. There we go. I think that's enough Parmesan cheese on that. And now into the oven, friends. 
Okay, friends, they are out of the oven and they are sizzling. They smell really good, but I will tell you, I ended up turning up my oven to 350. 225, just, it was taking a really long time to get them done. So they are crispy and they smell absolutely delicious. And we are gonna try one. Gonna get some extra Parmesan cheese because cheese makes everything taste better. Don't you agree? So let me, let me grab. Got it here. Oops, it just dropped. That's okay. You got it. Does not look good. Mmm, mmm. Oh, really good. That's a great new twist on broccoli, especially if you have picky eaters. I can almost guarantee you they're going to eat that. Cheese makes everything better. This is really good. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this on the menu for my family. I think everybody's going to enjoy it. I think you will too. I will leave the recipe in the description box below. So I'm actually going to go get supper now. We're having chicken mashed potatoes and the parmesan broccoli these were really easy friends we'll see you on the next video good night have a great day be blessed and don't forget to subscribe bye bye